Police are on the hunt for an arsonist after a spate of deliberately lit blazes in the southern suburbs. At least two of the fires were lit in just 24 hours, putting homes under threat. El Midros police are appealing for the public's help. Good evening, Tim. That's right. One of these deliberately lit fires was actually sparked behind me in success in the early hours of this morning. It's one of five fires that's been uh, suspected deliberately lit over the past few days here in Perth. Police want to speak to anyone, as you said, who may have witnessed any suspicious uh, behaviour in the success area between midnight and one o'clock this morning, because tonight an arsonist is still at large. A deliberately lit fire burning dangerously close to homes. Just one in a string of suspicious blazes in the success area over the last week. We're just up here working and then we seen the smoke and our, our mate's mum's house is right in the corner. So we just went down there and the fire was spitting everywhere. It's just gone out of control pretty much. Two of the fires were lit in bushland overnight, again putting more homes under threat. On nearby Jubilee Avenue, this land has been set alight multiple times and residents are furious. Stop. Imagine it was your own place. Um, if your house went up, you wouldn't be uh, laughing that time, would you? Sardis had his vehicle torched in his front yard on Sunday while he slept. He now has to drive his boss's van to work. For me, I lost my car. But for community, everybody has to be attentive, like have to put pressure on police and do something. Especially cars getting torched and um, it is where I take my boy for daycare, so yeah, it's, it's pretty worrying. Police are investigating. They're checking nearby homes for CCTV to help catch those responsible before it happens again. The fires happened just hours after the state government launched its summer arson prevention campaign. 6,500 fires happened across WA last summer and around 2,000 of them were suspected to be deliberate. Stupid act. That is not good. They are not going to solve the problem. Nathan Curry, Nine News.